Hello, friend, and welcome to our tea time. Today's tea time topic is the United States and Sirius. Now, I did an episode a little while ago about the star Sirius and why I'm so serious about joy and what Sirius is to me. It's the brightest star in the sky. We've used it to navigate uh, for centuries the seas. We've worshipped it in different cultures, Egypt, you name it. But Sirius, in uh, astrology from a personal perspective, represents where something very powerful will happen in your life. Perhaps the most powerful thing in your life, even. And uh, you can look where your Sirius star is in your birth chart, and most of you will have the same exact degree. In fact, uh, when I was born, Sirius was at 13 degrees Cancer. Sirius is now at 14 degrees Cancer, and that's a big deal, by the way, because Sirius does not change degrees very often. I think it's something like 85 or 86 years. I'll have to look it up. Sorry, I don't have that one handy. So literally, there's a generation on Earth who were born at Sirius 13 degrees, and there's a generation on Earth that's born at Sirius 14 degrees. Now, right off the bat, I'll tell you, that tells you something serious is going to happen in our lifetime because we're going to have a shift in degrees. Now, I've also uh, talked about the Mayan uh, shift and the galactic center. There are some people who were born with step 26 as the galactic center, and there are some people since 2012 born with step 27 with the galactic center. The galactic center's degree moves even slower, so there's another sign that we have a shift going on. But if you look at the star Sirius in the United States birth chart, guess what? Sirius conjuncts the sun. Sirius was at step 11 cancer in 1776, and it only has moved to step 14 for the entire time uh, the United States has been in existence. So that tells you how slow this fixed star is. That's why they call it fixed, because in one lifetime you really can't tell that it's moved very much. But it really is. Everything is moving because we are moving really in space. However, in 1776, Sirius was at step 11. Step 11 is, I become integrity. So the sun, our country, is conjuncting that. Now, if you don't know our chart, not only do we have the sun conjunct Sirius, but we also have Jupiter in Cancer in our chart at 5 degrees. So the United States basically is a stellium between Jupiter, Sirius, and the sun. That's serious business, right? So what's fascinating about this is the United States is absolutely uh, a vibration that represents the Sirius star cluster vibration. And from what I understand, it is the highest understanding of culture and humanity. We come from that cancer womb. And in our constellation right now, that's literally where we're coming from to heal and grow ourselves. And I believe uh, that we are up for some serious business in this life. And I'll tell you why. Um, the, the first thing that's really important to know is that... Um, Step 13 is the United States natural degree. And if you ever got a reading with me, you'll always hear me say the exact same thing. Step 13 is a degree that begins one way and ends another. Somewhere in the degree, it goes through a revolution. A revolution where it suddenly decides that it belongs on a higher vibration. Now, our creation was not that revolution. I know we call it a revolution, we call it a revolutionary war, but we actually created. Our birthday in 1776 is our creation. It's our foundation. It's the beginning of the story. I believe now that Pluto is one, uh, almost one rotation around since 1776, we are almost one galactic year old, the United States, so to speak. I believe it is in this lifetime, seriously, that we decide to upgrade and have that re-evolution of our country. Um, I don't believe it's going to be bloody. In fact, uh, I believe that that was part of the old Sirius. Uh, Sirius today is at step 14, and so that tells you right away that, uh, that there will be a, a, a basically that humanity or the United States will decide it belongs on another level, and then the United States will start to think differently about things. So you might look in your chart and see where your Sirius is. Now, I bring all this up right now uh, uh, to, just to point out that the United States and any country or anyone whose birth is their son is conjunct Sirius, uh, there's something very powerful in that life and something is going to happen. Uh, but the other point I bring up this whole topic is, you know, looking at the politics, looking at what we see ahead of us, I believe this upgrade has begun. In fact, the United States, if you don't know, has a Sagittarius rising. Can you, can you guess what degree it is? Step 13. Which means our image is also about to go through an upgrade. And if you don't know, Saturn is heading for the United States Ascendant. 
Now, you may say that a woman president would be a whole new image. Yes, that would count. But really, uh, Saturn crossing our ascendant for the country means that we're going to begin chasing after different things. Different things will be important. We'll be taking different actions. And I believe what's happening in the background of this is that our relationships among each other is what's changing. I'll wrap this up with one little note that the United States has its son in the seventh house. That is the house of relationships. It's also in cancer, which means that we are, at nature, a very uh, passionate and compassionate uh, nation if we choose to be. And what I think it really means is to change the world, to change the country, to change uh, what we aim for and what we consider, it's not outside of us, but rather inside of us. In other words, for those of us who are here to uh, revolve and re-evolve, it comes down to changing the relationships, seventh house, that we have with each other. So let's think about that, and your comments are totally welcome. All right, my friend, ooh, my voice, I'm going to take a sip of tea.